Now that you know a little bit more about lumber and what we do here at k j we're gonna find out how to purchase lumber that you need for your next project, a few other questions and some fun stuff. And if you haven't seen the first two videos in this three-part series, click up here in this video card so you can watch the first and the second video in order and then come back to this video. Is buying lumber at a local lumber store cheaper than big box stores? A lot of times I can beat those big box stores. Up Maynards. Right. The quality that my lumber gets dried down to is much better. Some of those big box stores, you buy lumber, like an old cord and it's wrapped in plastic. Well, as soon as you take it all that plastic and let it sit for a day or two, it is gonna warp and twist because it was hurried along in the drying process and it really wasn't dried down all the way. I take more time to have my lumber dried so it's dried right. Yep. You know, I bring it to a couple of local kilns and both the guys who do that really know what they're doing oh, and yeah. do a really nice job. We want to make sure we get you the lumber that is right for you, right for your project, even yep. if that's not with us. What is the pricing structure for your lumber? And do I have to buy a large amount of quantities or can I just come in and buy a few sticks? If you want to come in and buy kiln dried lumber, you can come in and buy as much or as little as you want. On the kiln dried lumber, if you do buy larger volumes, we do offer a little bit of a discount. And then 100 board feet mix and match. That's any species or size and dimension. That is gonna be a 5% discount. And then the 10% discount for 500 board feet or more is going to be um, the same species in the same dimension. You might wonder, do I need to make an appointment to come in and look at wood? What do you say, Kyle? Oh, that'd be a good idea, especially if you're buying more than just a couple pieces of lumber. Yeah. If you want something like a 30 to 50 board feet or more, I have to pull it out with a forklift to get accessible to some of the lumber that's in here. The other thing is it seems like a lot of times people show up in twos and threes and fours, but all of a sudden it's just Kyle and he can't help everyone at the same time. So if you have a, a, a meeting scheduled, you know that when you get here at 11 o'clock on Tuesday, he's gonna take care of you first. If he knows you're looking for select and better cherry, he can have it out and ready instead of you having to wait around for 10 or 15 minutes while he has to wrangle for it. Longer than that. You know, to get it over here, and then he's got to move everything out, and then he's got to get it, then he's got to pull the stack out, he's got to cut the van. I generally tell people 24 hour in advance would be great. Mm, do I have to pay sales tax? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got to pay sales tax. I get a lot of people ask me that, trying to undercut me. All right, now that we've answered as many questions as we can think of, if you can think of more questions, type them in the comments below. We'll get to them. We'll try to make more lumber buying guide videos. We love teaching people about sawmills and the lumber that we produce. So if you want to learn more about lumber, or if you like the content you see, click the subscribe button here, and then watch this next video.